Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. In this episode, we're going to do more with geometry nodes. And we're going to take the geometry nodes across a curve object. So first, I'm in the default scene that I've set up for myself. I'm going to delete the default cube that I have here. And then I'm going to do Shift A. And I'm going to add a curve. A Bezier curve is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode. X vertices. And then I'm going to go into draw mode. And then I'm going to draw a simple curve that we're going to follow. Okay, nothing fancy. Tab out. Next, I'm going to go into my geometry nodes. I'll go into that tab there. Now, I'm going to need to do a new, uh, new geometry node setup. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take it so that we're going to put some instances along this curve. And then we're going to do a few more things so that we can kind of control what happens with it. So what I want to do is I want to control the distance between the objects and the scale of the objects. So first, I'm going to do Shift A, Mesh, Icosphere. I'm going to keep this at the same size that it is. I'm not going to change any parameters except that I'm going to change the, the subdivisions. And that's it. So now, I'm going to take this reference image uh, object, I should say, put the icosphere into our node setup. I'm also going to hide it. And so uh, what I like to do is uh, I like to have instances in their own collection. So I'm going to say move to new collection by pressing M, instances. I'm going to turn off the instances collection. Now, to get this point so that it follows along this curve, I'm going to add instances on point. Instance on points. There we go. That's what I meant to say. So now the curve is going to define all the points where these instances are going to go. And I'm going to say geometry is going into instance. Now we have a whole bunch of things that are just kind of sporadically spread out, right? So I still want to see my curve as I'm working with it. And so I'm going to do Shift A, Join Geometry. This is an extremely powerful node to have. It really helps a lot with just everything. I absolutely love it. So now we have our instances on our points here. but. I'm not really happy with the spacing on that. And there's not a whole lot that we can do with controlling that right now, right? Wrong. We can actually make some more things available to us for control. I'm going to do resample curve. And then I'm going to put it onto this setup right here. Now, right now, we have a count of 10. But I'm not going for count. I'm going for length. Now, you'll see right now that every little bit of that is filled up. We have a length of 0.1. I'm going to change that to 2. And then take a look at that. So now, we have them so they are pretty much evenly spaced, right? So that is one of the parameters that I wanted to control with this. The next one I want to control is the scale factor of these as we go through them. So to do that, I'm going to go on to the instance on points and I'm going to add a spot right here at the scale. So I'm going to add a color ramp. So I'm going to type in ramp color. Now you'll notice that it has changed scale on there and they're all still uniform in their scale. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a parameter. This is going to be a spline parameter factor. And then what's going to happen there 
is that it's going to go along the length of this entire curve. And so now you can see that all this stuff right here is at a zero or very close to a zero. And it's going to keep increasing and going until you get all the way to one. Now, with this, we cannot just, uh, we, don't, we not only have this opportunity where we can just like increase it like that, but we can also control what happens within this color ramp. And so I'm going to add two points in here. And I want each of these points to have a color value where it goes all the way to one. And what that does is that scales everything along that part of it to one. Same thing will happen right here. Okay. And then I'm going to change this one so that the end of this right here goes back to zero. Okay. And there we go with value to zero. And now you can see that there's some taper right there. Now if you want to get exact with your numbers, well then you can do this. This position, I'm going to change to 0.8. I'm going to change this one once I select it to 0.2. And so now everything is evenly spaced. So that gives you kind of the idea of just how you can control these parameters where you can taper them, you can space them evenly, you can even animate what you're doing with these. So then you can do this where, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty cool, huh? And then you can also animate just how this goes. If I do escape, so you can animate these parameters by doing something like this. Pretty sweet, huh? So anyway, I wanted to share that with you today just to show you a little bit more of the power of the geometry nodes if you're starting out in that. And I thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope that you like, you subscribe, that you comment on this. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching Nathan's 3D Factory. Have a, have a great day, guys.